Oh, you do? My first call After today... Live, they are right. Sorry. My first call of today... It was, it was an ending as, as I expected. The call it was for a boiler, but it was running at low temperature. It was a Bordetos boiler. So I get there, the guy's not on site. So I call him, he said, look, I'm, I'm here. And the guy's, yeah, no, don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna be there in five minutes. So I wait for him for a couple right. of minutes and then he show up. The guy is very nice. Then, give me one second, let me lower this down. Very nice guy. Do you want some coffee? I'm not, I'm good, I'm good. I got coffee already. And, okay, I'll be right back. No problem, he showed me around the thermostats and all that. So I got a four zone boiler and so I just make one of the one of the thermostats calling for heat but looks like the boiler is not receiving the signal to fire it up. So I start troubleshooting it, you know, getting the book. First thing I do always is if I have a if I have a book on site, I start reading it to get familiar with the system and familiar with the way that the, the, the boiler or any equipment works. No errors, no alarms, nothing going on. The boiler is not locked out. It's just not receiving the signal. So after working around, the guy shows up after the coffee and he says, hey, how you doing? I say, well, you know, I'm still working on it, trying to find out what is happening. And the guy is at the door, just watching me. I'm not the kind of person that like to be watched when I'm working. I mean, if you're gonna be there watching me and not saying anything, you can better leave and do something else. I'm pretty much sure you got something else to do. And if you're gonna be there talking to me, you're gonna distract me. And I'm not gonna have my mind 100% of the equipment, so you can better go and do something else. That's the way I'm thinking. So the guy is there watching and watching and watching and watching. All of a sudden, then the guy goes, and then he return. I can hear him talking outside. Then he come back and he says, "I thought that you knew what you're doing." You know, and <laughs> it was a kind of a slapping in my face. You know, what are you talking about? So yeah, I thought that you knew what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm just getting familiar with your boiler. Do you work on a boiler like this before? This brand? Say, so, yeah, I've worked on this brand many, many times. Uh, this particular model, I don't remember, but pretty much they all work the same way. I just need to get familiar with that. And he says, well, uh, I don't want you to be here for two hours and then tell me that I'm going to need a part or that you need um, more time and I, I tell them I, I cannot predict how much longer I'm going to stay here. Probably I can stay here for a few minutes or I can probably stay for an hour like you said, but I cannot tell you what's going to happen in the future. So well that's what I mean, I cannot pay you for being here for two hours then you know I can see where the guy is going so what are you trying to say you want me to leave and he says yeah I want you to leave all right something that I learned over the years is sometimes it worth it worth it and sometimes it doesn't worth it to get in an argument for most of the time it doesn't worth it and the ending ruining your day for no reason because the guy probably is gonna call someone else so why I should get aggravated in my first call in the morning when it's not even when it's not even 1030 already so I just grab my stuff nice and 
rewire put everything back together and I refer to the guy by his name say I might need to have some time to do my paperwork so you can have a copy of what I did today and he says yeah I'm sorry I don't want to be bold but you know I hope you understand and I said yeah I understand I just did my paperwork in five minutes give it to him and looks like the guy is trying to apologize I just gave him my paperwork and I said all right I refer him by the name again uh, thank you for letting me try and I left I learned over the years to don't argue when you have customers like that you can see right away that they don't trust you and I'm not gonna change his mind uh, for most of the people who know me I, I'm not a guy who I give up easy I always you know looking for a, for another way to do things but I'm, I'm, I'm always my, my goal is always to get the system running I get pissed when I cannot because I need a par uh, but in most of the time I do everything possible to get the system running I sometimes I do magic to keep the system running but I do that's the way uh, that's the way that I am because I know how frustrating it is to be a customer and don't have a straight answer or uh, receiving the uh, notice that that the technician in your house he needs a part and you're gonna have your system down so I know that feeling so that's why I work hard to try to solve the situation for my customer and get everything up and running but in cases like this when you can see in the guy's face that he don't trust you for trust you for any reason I don't know what reason he may have it's better to step on the side grab your stuff go no complain no argue I was almost about to say you know what I've been working for this company for so many years I've been doing all different equipment but for what for what it doesn't matter again it's not gonna change his mind so that's that's the way I started this morning I'm not feeling really good but at the same time I'm not feeling really bad because I I didn't get into the discussion the argument and all that probably years ago I will jump in right away and said you know man I've been working for so long I've been doing this for so long I've been working with all for what it doesn't worth it it doesn't worth it the guy is gonna say no anyways and if he's changed his mind you know he's gonna be watching you and everything is gonna go to hell so it doesn't worth it right? you grab your stuff make the customer happy because he don't want you there for some reason and make yourself a favor don't get aggravated and just continue with your day at the end the most important thing is to get back home you know and get the rest of the job done the right way Bradley the guy doesn't know me but at this point I don't care if he does it or not got no intentions to return I talked to my boss and I told him you know you know my boss is a, a very understandable person and he called me right away trying to find out what happened and I explained to him and he you know I told him just you know whatever you talk to him does you know just I don't want to return because you know when a person don't trust you in the first visit I don't think that he's gonna trust you again so better to go and let it go let it be and keep going with your day I just wanna share that with you I'm pretty much sure that more than one guy has something to say about it um, this is not the first time it happens of course you know when you do this business you have to deal with people and people are different people want you to return and some people don't want you to return it, it is the way that the business is but I just want to share what happened today and 
see what else, who else has a similar situation and probably you can share it in the comment on the bottom. Alright guys, thank you for staying and listening.